guys, welcome back. Dream River 23 here with a second part to the uh, reactor video that we did last time. Uh, I am part joined. Two? Part two, totally part two. I am joined here today with uh, Steve. Hey. He's over there, and he's and he's down over there in the corner. Uh, also, I am. I'm in. I'm in the corner because I've been bad. Hey, Chris. Bad look at that. Look, he's in here. He's still hey. with the same skin. It's crazy. <laughs> That's what happens when you never change it. <laughs> That's true. I need to update yours to get rid of all the uh, the skin deformities I like to think of them as. Uh, see, Steve and I, we have a <laughs> nice, clean, smooth skin. You know, We've been using Proactive. Yeah, been using Deform. Proactive. <laughs> it's, it's just sunsets. I've been out in the sun too much. You work too much outside. That's so if you true. didn't watch the last video, um, it does a lot of explanation. I will put a link up. Uh, we encourage you to because yeah. if you didn't, if you're just looking for the high-quality reactors and uh, – this look no further, but you know. Totally. But we encourage you, if you want to learn about industrial craft nuclear reactors, then go back to the last video. Yes. Or at least understand them a bit better. So yeah, I'll put a link up in the uh, top right corner, and I'll have that to where it's running through the whole video so they can go. Actually, I'll put it in the top left corner so it's actually like previous video. Makes sense. Um, so that way you can you can watch that, and it will have where we started off with. We did explain a lot with like the uh, the reactor components um, not complete detail because there's so many and it would take way too freaking long to go through there. Uh, I also, I'll put a link down in the, for the wiki itself below the, the page in the wiki that really explains a lot of this stuff out. That does really help. It does. Uh, we wouldn't have understood any of it without the <clears throat> wiki. So. It does really help you get a headache too, because you're like, mother son of a, it's bad. I exactly. My words. That work on the wiki. I couldn't do it. <laughs> So, we want to go ahead and get started. On this video, on the last one, we showed the uh, one and two chamber and no chamber designs. Uh, this one's starting with the three chamber, which we can see right here from the nice little sign. Uh, so, yeah. Yep. Uh, here we go. Take All right. <laughs> All righty. So, we have a 48 in EU uh, total, 240E per tick uh, react right here. It's got uh, four quad uranium cells in it. And as you can see, that pattern, if you watched the last video, is there again. Um, like I said, you guys, really efficient pattern. No, it makes Use sense. It. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so if, uh, if you're trying to make reactors your, on your own, this this pattern, just, just it, it's so good. And you can just put it anywhere. Use it anywhere. You can do anything I can do. Actually, I can do anything you can do better. Anyway. But yeah, so there's not really much to explain here besides the fact that it's got the four quad uranium cells, uh, four overclocked heat vents per uh, uranium cell, and then two component heat vents for each. And for all those that are OCD so. like myself, it's symmetrical, which is beautiful. <laughs> yes, I did love that because um, <laughs> I, I detest uh, unsymmetrical reactors. Yeah. Uh, also, just to reiterate, reactors. I know we mentioned it a lot of times last time, but if you haven't watched the last video yet, all of these reactor designs that we show are Mark 1s. They are complete cycle. They are completely safe. They will not blow up. That's true. Which is Unless huge. Unless you do something stupid. Well, yeah. So if it blows up, you're like, Drave, Drave, you lied. You lied to me. I, my reactor done blowed up. No, that's your fault. Some bitch, no it blowed up, and I didn't even know it was going to do it. Drave told me it won't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, no water yep. around here. These don't have to be submerged. This is a nice design. You will notice that we do have this for safety, but we actually don't even need these with the, with the with the uh, design that we did for these. Yeah. yeah those are just there for, for to look nice. So, to look all pretty. Mhm. Mm hey, it doesn't uh, the uh, player detector doesn't detect animals as sweet. That works out nicely. That is kind of nice. <laughs> I, I didn't test that, so all right, so right. this design right here is 52 million EU total and 260 EU per tick. This is the four chamber, correct? That would be correct. The fourth chamber is back in the wall behind here, I'm assuming. Yes, it is. It's just chilling back there. All right. So, anyway, uh, this is just an expansion on the last one. I probably could do a better job on it, but I couldn't figure much of anything out. Uh, this is actually the reactor I discovered that wonderful pattern in. But if you take these heat vents here and add them into there and then put two uranium cells in the center, you get just a little bit more energy output and a little bit more, uh, a couple more million. So, so yeah, this one's 52, um, if the I'm not other correct, one's 48. 4 million, yeah. yeah, 48. And this one puts out uh, 20 extra EU per tick. So it's not much, but it is 
better nonetheless. And oh. this one should be mentioned, uh, total cost on this one, uh, 644 copper ingots, 45 tin ingots, 234 iron ingots, 32 gold ingots, uh, 18 uranium ingots, 7 rubber, 8 redstone dust, 2 glowstone dust, and 2 lapis lazuli. So that's, There's a humpy uh, on the roof. There's a humpy on the roof. These, these are getting a lot more expensive, guys. Um, <laughs> these are, I mean, typically this is not going to be a starter one. You know, that's that's on the last video. That's the one way over there. Uh, but adding on to it, you guys will be able to make more efficient reactors and be able to get a lot more power to them. Now, I did realize true, uh, at true. the end of the last video, before we haven't actually continue, turned any of um, these on. I, before you continue, yeah, I know this. Uh, before you continue, uh, I know I've been making a lot of faces at the camera recently. It's just because I ate some hummus. So hummus. Hummus, 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 and uh, there's chips in my teeth, so I apologize. Mm. Internet. Like, you're like... I'm sitting over there, I'm like... Mm -hmm. Like a <laughs> cow chewing cud or something like that. No. We'll, we'll turn the, the last one on. That's okay, we'll that'll be the nice one that we turn we, on. I hooked them all up, ready to go, and everything, and you know, it didn't even, didn't even do anything with them. So that last you one was 52 nobody. million EU, the other ones EU total, work. right? Yes. All right, and this one is 60 million EU, 300 EU per tick, which is... Damn good. And a lot of people don't take that into consideration. Oh, there's 300 EU per tick. A solar panel puts out one EU per tick. So this is the equivalent of 300 chamber. solar panels. Which a lot of people are like, no, I'll just build like 300 solar panels and I'll be okay. And I, well, that's that's fine and dandy. You know, you want to save the environment, less waste, all that. <laughs> um, actually, you know, I, it would be kind of cool if they included like nuclear waste in here. Like it had some, it had some sort of waste output that you had to contain or something like that? Take care of, yeah. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, that could be a cool mod. Anyway, um, any, if any modders listening, going to the lake. Uh... <laughs> an add-on, so it works. Because I know they do have a nuclear mod, and there do there are things like there's nuclear waste, and you can get sick, like you can get radiation poisoning and stuff like that from that. But that's a whole separate mod by itself. Make it as an add-on yeah. to where it's with industrial craft uh, system, to where you had to have disposal yes. units and stuff like that. That'd be pretty badass. All right. Anyway. So, um, Again, it's just a an expansion on the last one. Um, except this time it has four single uranium cells in the center. I could probably upgrade those to dual and you know add some extra eating element stuff, but um, I didn't get a chance to to test that out. Anyway, uh, full cycle like the last ones. Uh, it puts out 300 EU per tick, and it is still fairly cheap compared to. Like, uh, oh, I take back. It's not fairly cheap. It, it's, it's expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's cheaper than 300 solar panels. That's true. It's way yeah, cheaper than 300 solar panels. Be. Way less time consuming too. However, <laughs> you could probably bit. end up doing um, <laughs> just a couple of these, the normal uh, single, the single ones over here, and you'd be possibly even better off. Who even knows? Might use a little the bit more stuff. Possibly. Yeah, if you did three of these. Uh, this uh, one... you actually, you'd end up using six chambers to make three of these, so because yeah. each so, of these requires a chamber. With this one right here, this is a five chamber. I know we didn't mention that. Uh, we've been going in, in in an order. The fifth chamber is back behind there. Just I don't want anybody to be confused. I thought well, it was a four chamber and it's doing a lot more efficient. No, it's still a five chamber. So you're going to have that fifth chamber, that's <clears> right <throat> back in the walls right there. <clears throat> yes. All right, and this is the last one, the six chamber um, reactor. Uh, this one's 72 million EU, 360 EU per tick, um, and it's just the same pattern. That's all it is. So, you, know, you guys are probably like, oh, well, that, that's that's kind of a letdown. You guys were like, probably expecting something crazy. No, it's just just with this, this right system, here. you kind of have to find the pattern that works and reuse it uh, to get the most efficiency out. Now, you could you could uh, you know go a little bit crazy with these and get a Mark II or Mark III, but it wouldn't be full cycle. It wouldn't be something that didn't have a cool down period you know before you could use it again. And that's what we're trying to do yeah. with these, is so that you can make these, put it in there, don't have to worry about oh no, I've been away for 22 minutes and at 21 minutes this shit was gonna blow up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, honestly, there's probably a pattern out there for if you put two quad uranium cells right next to each other. There's probably a pattern for that, but I couldn't figure it out. So if you guys can figure that out, uh, let me know. I Send honestly don't think that there is. I know that there is one with just two, but it's using that LZH condensator and the RSH condensators because I couldn't find anything because two of them together puts out uh, 160 heat and 320. 320 heat for two of them next to each other because it's 96 160 each. each. No, 160 each when they're next to each other. It's just uh, 96 alone. 
I don't know. But yeah, it got to where the point was basically you wouldn't get to put those two next to each other. It's not putting out the power that you want. Um, but then you're having to spend the whole rest of the thing just getting cooling and ventilation because it, they put off that much heat. So I was trying to figure that yeah. out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, this one we it are going to turn on. Steve, do you want to turn that one on? And I will look at the uh, MFSU over here so we can see how fast it charges up. I know we know it goes at 360 yeah, EU but, per uh, And go. I mean, it's so nice that it's not really huge. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Yeah, and yeah, since this and is, we wouldn't even actually need a this bad bit. box. The f full and there it goes. Box. Yeah. Tool bat box. Two back boxes. There we go. Boxes. Yeah, boxes. I got some boxes. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it, it is a really good system. And this one, I'm going to show it again, just so you guys can pause it and look at it. Uh, we also will have on the bottom of this one, we'll have the links for uh, the three, four, five, and six um, chamber True. reactors down there, so that you can pull those up through the planner. Uh, and like we mentioned in the last video. Send us links to what you guys have made. Um, use the uh, and we the will post code. them in here. And the next time we do a video, we'll we'll show off the best ones. So I'd like to do like maybe every couple of weeks if we go through and have like three or four different designs, four or five different designs that are really good designs. Yeah, I'd like to do yeah, a video and show them off because and okay, kind of actually, you know butt. what? The, so point of not point of order, just the point of the video. Not the video. The ones that we want you guys to send us, they have to be more efficient than ours. Because if they're the exact same, then they have to, okay. They have to cost less, be more efficient. Actually, just one of those two. Cost less or be more efficient, and they have to be full cycle, no cooldown. Mark one. So when if it goes through in that planner, if it says mark two or three, try again. No. Mark yep. once. Full cycle. Actually, you no. Know, he's right. I lied. <laughs> uh, really I quick, I did want to show. Did. I did want to show off the uh, the the player detector down here. Oh yeah, let's do that. Um, so you can kind of <laughs> see how we did it. And now that we're down here, it's going to pull through. So we actually have these filled up quite a bit with uh, these MFSUs down here. But this oh, is the player empty. detector block. Holy crap! Yeah. Well, these things do take a little bit of charge. These have to be powered, but the player detector block, so we have it down here so that it's 16 blocks up. We actually, I think we have it 13 blocks down. So that way, with it, if you're within like three blocks of it. It's a little bit of, of a it, radius, yeah. Yeah, if you're within three blocks of the door, it opens. But this is directly below the door, 13 blocks down, I believe. And we have these just set up for each of them. We do have the power going out, so I don't know. It's, it's they, pretty they, nice. Apparently, according to uh, it's pretty how empty out. these are, they suck a lot of power, so. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is? But that's it Greg Tech. First? In case you guys were curious. So. So yeah, that is a Greg Tech uh, block from the mods, and they are kind of expensive to make. The Greg Tech stuff does add a lot of expense to everything, but it does also add some really cool stuff. Uh, in the next video that we're gonna do, which isn't gonna be this week because it's a lot more basically research that we're gonna have to do into there. Um, there yes. are uh, depleted thorium cells and plutonium cells that you can put in there and they the plutonium is what two times three times more power that's output than the uranium uh let's see here i can put one in and see um okay so a plutonium i think this is plutonium single cell plutonium outputs uh 10 eu per tick versus five and it does nine heat instead of like see how much is a normal is that one. The, that four. Regular? Four heat. So it does one more heat. It's, it's like having two um, uranium it's cells next to each other, except it's less heat, actually. Oh, wow. It does less heat than having two uranium cells next to each other. Except for if you're doing quad. Bunching them together, that's where it really adds up. Because if you put a quad down, it's like 200 and something, no, 216 heat. Yeah, 216 heat. Oh, wow. So, but the thorium, it is. Uh, the thorium puts out a lot less power. Twelve EU per tick, and it's twenty-four heat. That they are way less. I guess yeah. this is for like safe, safe reactor working. Then, oh yeah, one EU per tick for e and one heat for each single. Yeah. You know, honestly, you could probably fill a whole reactor with this stuff and be totally okay. <laughs> I don't try that on a server. <laughs> Steve, don't tell him to try yeah, that. Don't try that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Steve said I could put a whole reactor full. I got six chambers. It'll be all right. 
Oh, here, let, you know what? I'm actually um, filling a whole reactor, then putting up uh, some of those plates in the center to get the heat at. Eh, nope. Nope. Not really. Not really working out. No. Yeah. Nope. We will not, mess not with a good those. Idea. We'll, on the next video <laughs> that we do of this, we'll mess with just the Greg Tech stuff because the cool thing is they do have a lot more efficient, um, like the helium uh, uh, cooling. And Which you know, it, if you don't use liquid cooling at all in the first place, the helium cooling is actually uh, less useful than you think. True. And if you guys had so, twenty-four, forty-eight hours, you could have worked for something way better. Oh yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah, and, and that's on something like that's why we want to see what you guys are continuing to put down there for us. But that is not all for this episode. Do you think that that's all? You know, make sure you guys go no. back and check on this other one. But we, uh, you know, we. We were kind of bored. We're we gonna walk mm -hmm. over there. Let's let's walk over there. Let's let's All right, just let's start walk. off from where we started right here. Bloop. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna walk and talk. Totally, totally walking and talking. Chris is way back there. That's cool. <laughs> here we go. Let's let's go. All right. All right. So we, we built a nice little place over here to show you guys. This is our uh, our test village. You know, got some uh... test village. Yes, test village. Um, I know that you guys are gonna ask because everybody That's always done does. Stairs. Who, dusk. what texture pack is they always, this? They always dusk. Everyone always dusk. It does. Um, this is Sordix Fanvert texture pack. Uh, I just, it just looks so smooth and pretty. I like how it looks. It does. So. Da -da -da. No. <laughs> I still have not yeah, seen a, a natural sheepy yet. That's how far it is. Yeah, it's a, a it's natural a sheep. Walk. That is a natural no, sheep. No, a natural sheepy. Oh, of course. It's, we it's had the one sheepy, sheepy. Where, but he was... Hey, they happen Maybe. naturally. No, they don't. I'm sorry. Sorry, Dream. It's quite a don't you, walk. don't you, don't you naysay about sheepy. There's a bat. Are we going to show them the center of town? Yes. Uh, so we have okay. a nice little village that we built up over here, and this was a good 20 minutes spent, I say, 30 minutes spent on just building up the village and getting things set up. Get out of my house, jerk! Go away. And they're all congregated right around here. <clears throat> so we did a they're little like, test. Is this like, new thing? Can we worship it? We shall worship you. Let's see. I can trade this guy four emeralds for a leather tunic. That's cool. That's 21 cool. coal for an emerald. Hey, that's actually not bad. 17 s raw pork chops for one emerald. That's kind of gay. I, you know what? I could use a pork chops. You could use a pork chops. I use a pork chops too. No, pork chops are really useful. And he's like, for one emerald, 17 pork chops. You know, 17 pork chops keeps me going for a long time. That's true. But I could use pork chops as well. Uh, so, yeah. So, right here in the center of town, <clears throat> we have built this beautiful display of science. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's, it's science. That's Wait, there's, only, there's a dual uranium it. cell right here. Let's change that back out. Quad. Oh, good, good. It's it's really, I wouldn't call it a. Mm, there we go. An experiment. No, it, it's more of a. A trust exercise. <laughs> right. A trust fault. Right. Right. All right. Let's, trust uh, exercise. Let's, let's, uh, let's go get with that. this filled back in. Uh. So yeah. These people really trust us. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm they do. A lot. So, so this is uh, this is a nice little village, and we just wanted to kind of see, yeah, you know what? Six chambers completely filled with quad uranium cells. Mm -hmm. What happens? Uh, underneath, we actually have a line, a red power line that's going out all the way to this lever right over here. Which uh, isn't even probably far enough. Probably not. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let me get into position, and we are going to just... Are you gonna sit? You gonna stand on top of it? Ground zero, baby. All right. So I uh, I have it to where I can zoom in and see what's going on, and then zoom right back out. Uh, you ready? Hold on one sec. I think I'm pretty ready. Let me turn off my HUD. All right. Uh, so you want to give the countdown, Steve? Um. Oh man, you would have told me we were doing this earlier. I would have I would have pulled up a video of like a space shuttle countdown or something. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do now. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, how, how, why did that uh, sound like Barack Obama? <laughs> uh, Houston, we uh, seem to have a problem. Four more did. years. Today's <laughs> message is brought to you by the Sakma and the number. Yeah. 
No. <laughs> That's what's up. I wish there was a massive explosion sound. That's the only thing that it doesn't it. do. It you can would be wonderful. In. All right, but, let's, uh, let's let this load in. There we go. Um, yeah, village gone. Uh, also, village? I'm, I'm probably gonna have to add in somewhere in there like screaming sounds from an the explosion villagers. or two. Uh, just oh because, yeah. Yeah. I love explosions and screaming sounds. So yeah, I mean that's, that's a pretty sizable distance. Yeah, if you need to make a, uh, you know, and that ex that's about the same explosion that happens no matter what you put in there, as far as See? we're concerned. And yeah, this is why we did actually, server. we did actually test that on um, with because uh, you can put the quad plutonium in there, the one that gives a lot more power. So we did test that out, and it wasn't any noticeable difference between the uranium quad uranium and the quad plutonium. I wonder if if the single uranium is is more of a size or if. But that's for another video. We're going to have to test that on another video. Maybe on the next one. If this video gets enough likes or thumbs ups and comments saying, yeah, test it out, we'll go through and we'll test out um, a video that we'll do and we'll have it to where it does the single uranium, the double uranium, and the quad uranium. And then we'll also show the single plutonium, double plutonium, and quad plutonium, the explosion radiuses, just so we can get those tested out. And we'll – I actually want to kind of go through and set up – Just because uh, we like blowing stuff up. Oh, yeah. All this radiation is kind of making me hungry for flesh. Why are you down there eating the flesh? That's no, your 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 leg, your leg. That's that's awkward now. I'm gonna walk over <laughs> here. <laughs> oh, he's like wheat door. Steve wants my flesh in his oh. mouth. Okay, all oh, right. Oh, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> and, uh, goodbye, folks. <laughs> That's all the time we got for today on this video. Thumbs up and like uh, if, if you found it entertaining or educational or... Creepy. A little creepy. <clears throat> a little um, creepy. Moment of silence for the testificates who died in this experimentation. Testificates. That's like enough. That. That's it's enough. Like yeah. testicles. <laughs> that was going long enough silent. Yeah, yeah. We said a moment. That Steve gave it all of like a tenth of a second. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a moment is a rather uh, a tenth thing. of a second before he started ripping up testificates. Sound like testicles. <laughs> you know, whatever noises he makes. Uh, yeah, pretty much, that was the exact sound I made. Really good job there. I try, I try. You know, it's 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 more about knowing the person. You know, deep down, from the inside out. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. So yeah, until next time, guys. I am Dream Reaver Twenty Three. I'm feeling a bit of radius. Humpy 33. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Until then, game happy, and thank you guys for supporting uh, the Thrift Shop parody, or the Trade Shop, I think is what we call it. Trade Shop parody, and uh, also keep your eyes open for the Professional Briefers parody. Uh, so until next time, guys, I am Dream Reaver 23 saying game happy, and bye! We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. bye. Episode. Ep, 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 episode. LRM is my homegirl, building up my whole world, running with red power wire. And you gotta have space toad, cause you know the build craft ma ma makes me smile. And industrial craft, because my nuclear reactor gives the power to inspire. These blocks feel like Doc Brown, gonna make a time machine in game 1.21. We got you know the spawner says start dropping spiders and creepers and zombies as well with their arms in the air. And blazes, cave spiders, skeletons, jockeys, the slimes, and magma cubes, silverfish, yeah. The Pikmin are nice, unless you attack them, then they're coming at you like a swarm of bees. You're running like crazy just to get away from them. Get through the portal and finally can breathe. <sighs> All this for some glowstone dust. Now that I'm back, I see it's not.